I'm Brent Brehant, Technical Field Trainer for HTP Products. And today I'd like to talk to you about one of our residential boiler models. This is the UFT, or Universal Fire Tube. And this again comes in six BTU input ranges from 80,000 up to 199,000 BTUs. And this particular version is a wall hung. We offer it as a floor model as well in those same six sizes. Some of the benefits to this guy, it vents in inexpensive PVC. It utilizes supply and return off the top or the bottom, making it universal. We could have a combination um, supply on the top, return on the bottom. We could cap off the bottom, just use the top or vice versa. Uh, we have scenario where we could have an indirect going out off the bottom and our space heating temperature off the top, which is how we have it set up here. And some of the other benefits to this product is a full 10 to 1 turndown ratio, meaning that it's fully customizable uh, and allows us to promote non-primary secondary installations. With that being said, I'd like to take a look inside the unit and show you what makes up the Universal Fire Tube boiler. Okay, part of the Universal Fire Tube is the onboard control. So this is the user interface. Uh, so it features four buttons and a dial. So the four buttons, of course, are used to customize our installation. Uh, so for the most part, we have an on-off button right there that just disables the inputs to it. Then we have our four square button, which we refer to. Uh, that allows us to get into our two menus. The, uh, it has a status menu, which gives us real-time information. And then it has our installer menu, where we can go and, and set the parameters in for our installation. And then off to the right here, we have our clock, which sets the di date and time on the, on the machine for us. And then we have our temperature setting. Looks like a radiator. That's how we set our set space heating temperature. And then the dial is just simply used to navigate through and store all the changes. So that's a look at the real easy-to-use control on this model. Okay, I'd like to take you inside the UFT, Universal Fire Tube Boiler, um, get you a little look at what's going on inside of here. Well, we'll start off at the top. Uh, so up on the top right, we have our exhaust connection with a built-in uh, tap to do our combustion analysis. And then off to the left is our intake piping. And also up on top here are our connections. Again, Universal Fire Tube, you can connect it off the top or off the bottom. So we also have up here our UL353 low water cutoff. So the machine does have a low water cutoff built in. This is a manual reset that's required by some code. So we provide a kit uh, for this. So it gives you the device, the fittings, and even the wiring harness to plug it right into our control. Uh, makes a seamless operation. The other things we have inside of here, of course, are our, our gas valve. It's a line voltage 120 volt gas valve, uh, combustion blower motor. And then we get into our heat exchanger and our spark box that provides and generates, uh, takes 120 volts and generates a 10,000 volt spark for us. Then we have our main control board. One of the unique features about the control board uh, is it's protected, but it also has Molex connectors on it. So it's impossible to plug the wrong connector into the, to the wrong Molex. So if it ever had to be replaced, again, it's more of a plug and play, real easy to change. Then down here on our terminal strip is our wiring. So again, Universal, wire, Universal Fire Tube provides lots of inputs. We provide lots of pump outputs. So we'll start on the low voltage side. So we have our outdoor sensor that allows you to connect an outdoor sensor directly to the unit. Our thermostat input, that would take a thermostat call or an end switch from a relay board. Uh, we have a direct 0 to 10 volt input from a system. Uh, so if we have a building management system, we can send it a direct 0 to 10 volt signal to it. It also has a place to put a system sensor. We can cascade, meaning we can put multiple units together. So it gives you a place to put the system sensor. And then it has the low water cutoff, which is the switch side of the safety. And then as you move over to the line voltage side, we have our incoming power. We have three pump outputs. We can control a boiler pump, we can control a system pump, and we can control a domestic hot water pump. And then off to that, we have the low water cutoff, which provides power to a transformer. Uh, that provides ultimately provides power to our low water cutoff. So that's about what's going on inside of the universal fire tube. It also provides up to 96% thermal efficiency. Like I said, a full 10 to 1 turndown ratio, available in six BTU input sizes from 80,000 up to 109,000 BTUs. Available natural gas, liquid propane, and there are also floor models available for this.